I'm going to be doing a review on an Erin Country monthly planner that I recently received. It is the Harmony Neutral. If this is something that you're interested in, come on, let's get started. <laughs> I did have my planner customized which you do have the option doing it's no additional cost on changing the colors it came with the silver uh, or platinum rings I did not choose to upgrade those and I love it because purple is my favorite color <laughs> uh, and Tiffany helped me pick it out uh, she's really good with color matching and uh, stuff so I'm really pleased how this turned out and then I had my name put on it um, you can have it put whatever you want on it if you want to or you can have it blank it's up to you so let's take a look inside I love how they sorry my ring lights are catching it how they give you the back side in you're able to use this wherever you want to use it and it's erasable so if you use a wet base marker you're able to wipe it off when you're finished and these are removable which is awesome because like during seasons you might want to, like for fall season you may want to change up the uh, to a fall cover and still be able to use the same planner so that is awesome that, that that they offer you that option. Of course, gotta have your who this belongs to. Everybody say hello to Sable. Let's count how many times she shows up today. <laughs> and then we get right into the planner itself. The this is the Harmony Neutral. The very best plans emerge different uh, merge when different perspectives meet. I like the different paint sloshes here. Even though it's neutral, it does give it a little color. The first tab is going to be your year in a glance. I'll come back and show you how I'm going to use this for my budgeting needs starting in August. I know. Gotta make my mind up which one I'm going to use next month. This is a wiener, chicken dinner. <laughs> but we'll come back and we'll do, a, I'll show you how I'm going to set it up. Then you have the 12 boxes. Uh, you can put the month's name up here. You can decorate it. You can put a washi here and then put the name of the month. And then put your goals, whatever you want, inside of it. A lot of people call this the current page, which is always the page before your monthly so it does get and it is lined and it's very thick paper the difference in the paper between this one and the a5 budget planner which I did do a review I'll link it up here if you like to check it out is where that one was is a smaller compact planner it's you could tell the rough the the grooves in it this one you can tell there's a little bit groove there, but it's not as obvious as it was in that one. If you watch it, you know I, I complained about it because it wasn't really smooth, and that's just because it's where it's a smaller planner. And we're starting out, uh, you are able to change the months on these, the starting month. I purchased this in July to start in August. I believe you can also have it start in September. Then after that, I believe the option is starting January. So you do have the option of telling Erin Condren when you want your planner to start. The first month here says, a go without a plan is just a wish. True, I'm learning that <laughs> very quickly here. <laughs> okay, so we'll go right into the monthly. Got, I love, always love the monthlies when they're separated on two pages. Because that gives you more room to add things, decorate it, and have plenty of room in the boxes to add whatever you want 
into it. And you have pretty good margin here to where you can put washi tape up here, stickers up here if you want to, and then of course you have your note page. You have a lined page here, no, piece of notebook paper. And then you have like an overview of your month for here. You can put your goals, you can put your budget, whatever you want to here. Upcoming bills. And you go right into the notebook pages. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, get ink and then you're into your next month. The difference between a monthly and a weekly, just in case you didn't know, I'm sure you obviously could tell the difference, but if you're new to the planning world, you may not know. Now I do have the Erin Cunningham Weekly. Let me show you what it looks like. This is the color blend, so you will see more color. You do get this lime paper. You get your monthly, just like the monthly. And you get these two pages. Then it goes straight into your weeklies. And this is for uh, layout. It's called a vertical. And you don't get no new pages. So if this is something that may not suit you. Because you need more writing. Maybe a monthly may be your best option. We are back looking at the monthly planner. You have several ways that you can use it. If you're a content creator, use it as your social media planner to help keep track of the videos and posts. You can also use them as for special projects. You can write down your project ideas and then later add notes. It also would be awesome for a home remodeling. You can have a page for each room, write notes down on what needs to be completed. I hope this helps you to get some ideas. So let's get back into the regular schedule program. And in each month when you start a new one, how you can tell this page goes with a new month is that the color up here will change. So just to verify, I said this one was black. If you can tell it, it's light. And this is like a light purple or light gray rather light purple gray. So let's take a look at the dividers. It says follow your passion and not your potential. September. And this also changes each month. October is again see this changes color. Imagine the possibilities if you were brave enough to try. And again, it changes here. November. It says, forever cherish every moment with those you love. That's a good one for the month of November because November is when the holiday starts. And of course, you got the Thanksgiving. And let's see this changes too. Focus on the potential for greatness, not the possibility of failure. We all need to remember that. <laughs> and then we start the new year. Discover the power when you choose to connect. The best way to predict your failure is to create it. When you find balance, you find peace. The strong enough, strongest version of, you, of yourself can emerge from the from the thought of circumstances. Let go of what you can't control and just breathe. 
I need to put this one every month. <laughs> Especially in the budgeting world. Because <laughs> there's always something coming up. <laughs> it seems like. <laughs> oh, goodness. With the plan, hard work, with a plan and hard work, you can achieve anything. When it seems impossible, continue to believe in yourself. Mindset is everything. This is the last month, so. Let me find it here, here we go. Okay, so at the end of it, you do get additional, you get one additional note page that lets you know that it's the end of the book. You get your heritage and awareness of serv servants days holidays um like grandparents day black history month women's history month begins i didn't know there a uh, loving day i didn't know there was a loving day <laughs> and then you get your know, look at next year and you do have three points that you can write down here to compare uh, to get ready for your next year it says what you think you create what you feel you attract what you imagine you become and you got some couple pages of stickers and then you have a little folder which would be good for your stickers or if you have any sheets with your budget you can put in here like my category page that I have I can put it in here and then you have the back cover with the same as the front where you have the option to write down anything on the back and then here's what the back cover looks like so pretty so gorgeous and I'm so excited let's take a look and see how I'm going to use this for my budgeting needs so here we go so let's go ahead and first go the year in advance. I'm a very visual person. I have taken a green highlighter and I went ahead and marked from July until the rest of the year when my paydays are com comes in. This way I can see visually when I need to do my budgets with me for the channel and course for my budget. For this section, I'm a little bit on the thinking side still, but most likely what I'll do just for the comparison part, I think what I'm going to do is for our main categories, our food, eating out, gas, and personal, I'm going to put the budget for each month and then what we have spent in total. on the current page <laughs> this is where I'm going to do my weekly reviews I like it to have the note page plain that way I can decorate if I want to use washi to separate the weeks I will put when my bills are due just like I have been doing my other months and mark my payday so I'm able to visually see what is coming out this part is what I love about this planner. If you have seen my how to create your budget planner under $10, see it here, or how to create your own budget binder, which you can watch here, you will know that I like to have a list of my bills for each month. With the other planner, the budget by month, 
workbook, it was at the beginning of the planner, so you had to flip back and forth to it if you wanted to see it. And then, two, with it, if you're like me, new bills comes up periodically through the year, so I would have to keep editing and editing, and it got kind of messy. <laughs> That's the reason why you don't ever see it on this on this channel. <laughs> Anywho, um, so I'm gonna list all my bills here, starting from the first all the way down to the end of the month. I will. I'm gonna put the bill, due date, the amount, and if paid. It, on this page, what I plan on doing is doing my monthly budget setup bills which I can get from here the bill total and then how much I want to put in my cash categories how much I want to put in savings and any new goals I get paid bi-weekly so normally I get paid twice a month I have a few months of the year like the month of July it's called a magical month because you get an extra paycheck which I do so the first two pages are going to be my paycheck breakdown where I put my bills due that I'm going to pay for that paycheck I set up my cash envelopes amounts my savings amounts my sinking funds amounts and then these will start out my expenses the first two will be my cash expenses the next two will be what's coming out of my bank and then the next two will just be there for extra. If I have, if it's one of those months I don't need all four pages, all these pages, I will do my monthly, end of the month review of all my categories to see if it was good or bad. With them. these stickers, I can use these to mark my bills each month. You can put the bill and the amount, and then when you pay it, you can color in the little star. Back here, in this folder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my category budget uh, sheet. And if you like to see how I set that up, you can check out this video listed here. If you liked how I went over and reviewed this uh, this planner and would like to see more of my budgeting videos, check out these lists here. Otherwise, have a good one, folks. Bye.